hi everyone and welcome to another video so i'm just showing you there i just use the little sticky dots and then pop the tips on then i buff it down wipe it over with some gel cleanse and that's your nail prep done and we're going to be doing a few techniques on this design today so i'm using nail chemi salt stone and radiant they're the two colors i'll be using and that radiant oh wow it is gorgeous so i've put the radiant on now as you can see i'm going in with the white and i'm not going over the orange i'm just i'm just showing you again on the other one i'm just putting it right up to it that way you're not going to contaminate your brush but always check the brush and if you do happen to catch any just wipe it off on one of the lint free wipes or a little bit of fluff there on my nail chemi ombre brush I really like this brush. I find it quite easy. Um, as you can see, it's got, you know, nice spaces in between. So I start off just by dabbing it, just sort of getting a little blend and I've wiped that uh, orange off it. And now I'm just going to go backwards and forwards. This is quite gentle movement. It looks a bit more vigorous because I've speeded it up because it would have been a really long video, this one. And then I'm going to do the same again. Uh, I've kept it in just, you know, just to show you really um, how I do them. Because I'm doing two, two nails in the ombre design. And I'll just keep, you know, popping that backwards and forwards. And remember to get those edges. Um, sometimes, you, you know, well, I do. <laughs> you might not. But it's easy to miss the edges out. So it's more, you know, where it's ombre and together. See, like there. So... I've popped a bit of white, I'll wipe my brush and then once I go over it with the orange, you can see it's, it's blended in there. So once all that's done, I'll pop it into cure. I'm getting a bit better at the ombres now. I, I don't know, I think because I was so used to doing them with acrylic, um, I think I just had a mind block, you know, doing them with gel polish. But I'm, I must admit, if you've got a decent brush, it, it really does help. So now i'm just going in with the velvet mat and i'll put that on all over again getting those edges and if you've got any little lines where you've been sweeping the brush across the matte top coat it really evens all that out for you and it just leaves a really nice smooth surface on the nail for you and now I'm just popping on some of the Neon Mauve, oops, I dropped it, <laughs> onto uh, my little palette and some of the white and we're going to do some one stroke flowers. Now, I've tried and tried in the past to, do, to get the hang of one stroke and honestly, I couldn't. So I don't want that bright white. So as you can see, I'm just mixing a tiny little bit of that there. But anyway, getting back to me one stroke. Um, so I've never been happy with the results. But then uh, Hayley from Nail Chemi, she'd um, done a one stroke course. And honestly, it was the best thing I'd done. She really is an amazing teacher. So if you're struggling with your one stroke, then yeah, go check her out. You can purchase the course on the Nail Chemi website. And I'll leave the link for that in the description box for you below. So Yep, yeah, now I'm just carrying on mixing that, as I say, I just want it. Do you remember, remember the paints you used to get, like, you know, barely white and stuff? So that's all that is. And I love little, um, you know, not, not cheats, little shortcuts. So I've got this gorgeous stamping plate and I'm just going to use that little flower there. And this little trick, it's just going to keep, you know, all the dimensions even because... I tend to find some petals are bigger than the other. So, yeah, I know with this, I'm going to get a really nice looking flower. And it really does help, you know, if you're just starting off, if you're just, um, you, you know, first trying the one stroke. So now I've just taken the, I've put the paler colour at the front of the brush, which is the foot. And the darker colour is at the heel, which is the back of the brush. And as you can see there, I'm just getting the blend. So you need to do that a couple of times. Um, and now I'm just going to follow because, as I say, I've got my nice little guideline there. 
and already it you know it's starting to look nice but we do do two coats over each petal but i'm just going in and if you feel your paint's running out on one side do what i just did reverse the brush and then you're good to go but you can reapply the paint at any time you know just take it off your palette if you need to add more redo your blend that's fine too and on this side i stamped as well but i've just sort of done it half coming off the nail so i think it's about three four petals yeah so that that always gives a nice little effect then i cured that in the lamp and now i'm going in for the second coat and you can see already you know how much more vibrant that flower is so i've not shown you all of it um and now i'm just going to mix some of the green and yellow together because we're going to add a couple of leaves and i don't want the leaves too fancy and we're just going to do some nice swirly stems coming off them as well sorry i'm a little bit low down there but i think you just about see it so i'm just popping that color on and as you can see i'm sort of pressing it down now once i'm happy that it resembles a leaf shape that that's good for me i'm you know as i say i'm not doing fancy leaves and then with the darker i'm going in with my fine line detailer brush also from nail chemi i think this is the triple zero so it's re really fine and short and then yeah i'm happy i'll leave the leaves as that Now on Haley's course, honestly, there's so many different types of leaves, um, and she goes through them all. So you you know you can't you can do um you know more more advanced ones than those. But for this design, that's all I wanted, um, and now I'm just adding some of these um like little vines, aren't they co coming off from the flowers? I'll give them a quick flash cure and then I'm just going to add some little um, little dots so they just look like little um, bunches of you know gy gypsy you know the gypsophilia yeah so and you know obviously Haley showed us how to do this as well and it really fills those gaps up in the nail which I think really enhances the design I absolutely love them I, I'd put them all over I have to stop myself really Yeah, if I like something, I never grasp that uh, concept of less is more. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the velvet matte. So we'll make sure that's got a nice generous coat on it. Not not overly, but um, and there you go. That's it all cured. And I think that's absolutely lovely. So that's what it'd look like if you left it with, um, you, you know, a glossy top coat. And there it is in the matte. I think either looks really lovely, but for this set, we're going to do the matte. And here, I'm just finishing off the other the other nail. So again, I'm just going to go in with some of these little uh, bunches of dots. And as you can see on that one, I've done just like a little bud coming off it as well, which I always think looks really nice. And then again, I'm going to go in with the velvet matte. And that's the two uh, one stroke ones done. And now I'm just going to put uh, one coat of the Radiant on. Um, I'm going to do some marble and glitter on this one. So what one coat's plenty for this. And I'll just apply a coat of the Bloomin' Gel. It really helps, you know, disperse the colour. But the, the only colour I'm using is the Radiant and the white. It's, it's not going to be a multi-marble. So once that's on, you, do, you don't cure that either. So I'm just going to run through the nail with my um i think it's my own braid brush yet that i'm using there just applying some of the white on and then i'll just blend it in adding a bit more of the orange because i don't really want much of the white showing through 
and now I'm going in with some lava lamp sugar <laughs> glitter from nail sugar and I'll leave a discount code in the description box if you want to purchase any of those and once I've cured that I'm just gonna go in with some no white top coat Oh, no, it's not. That's the velvet mat. God, I keep getting mixed up. I don't think my brain's working that good today. <laughs> so, yeah, the velvet mat. Uh, and I've done two nails the same with this. And once they're done, I do have some crystals, but I've not done them on camera. I've done other crystal ones, and I'm going to do more crystal placement in the future. So, yeah, there's the finished design up to now before the crystals. But you'll see them in the reveal shot in just a minute. So, yeah, I absolutely love the one stroke. And, um, and I just think those colours are absolutely beautiful. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you could, I'd love it if you could subscribe if you're not already. Um, leave any comments. I always try and answer all the comments as well. And if, if you could share it, that would be lovely too. So... Um, I just wanted to mention, I'm going to leave her at the end of this. Don't forget to check out my previous uh, video. Um, I've got a beautiful nail sugar giveaway with the Natalie Mugridge detailer brush, which everybody loves. So, yeah, you all take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.